Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Saraton, Pennsylvania. Taking another look at a Winnebago product here today on their Micro Mini Series. We have the 2108 DS. Uh, this is a great popular couples trailer pretty much because uh, the overall length and the versatility of the space that you have inside of here. Um, with it only being 22 feet, it's got a Murphy bed set up that has a sofa underneath. So kind of a great day and nighttime separate configuration. Uh, I'll take you around the outside inside features here and see if this might be the trailer for you. So of course, it being a Winnebago product, it's going to have a lot of great standard features. Not many options that come on this trailer. A lot of quality products. So starting outside, you do have the Winnebago fiberglass front cap here. Uh, fiberglass construction, you know, being overall better construction product. They've got the fiberglass front cap. It's fiberglass all the way around the sides and the back. And then you've got the rubberized roof material. You can see the sticker on the front here. You, of course, get a three-year structural warranty. Now, a trailer of this size, I'm going to try to go through, again, all standard features, which you don't find coming on many trailers of this size. So up on the front, you'll have two 20-pound propane tanks standard with a spot for 230s, a power tongue jack, which is nice. You're not going to be cranking or anything. You've got an LED light up there. As you come across the side here, you do have a power awning, which almost takes up the whole side length of the trailer. So it's a nice big awning. You have a power LED strip under there, outdoor speakers. A lot of products will go cheap out on their windows and not tint them, but Winnebago still has your tinted windows for your overall privacy, and uh, it's better for climate control. As you come up the front here, I wanna make sure you see your pass-through storage, nice, big, thick doors, magnets to hold them up, and then you've got the full pass-through here. You can see they, uh, Winnebago's are coming standard with the solar controller and 190 watt solar panel on the roof. So you've got that already installed, ready to go to trickle charge that battery in the front there for you. And then there's also a battery disconnect switch here for turning the battery on and off when not in use. Another great standard feature you really don't see on a trailer of this size is you have power stabilizer jacks. So for your two jacks in the front, two in the rear, you'll just push the buttons and they go down. They're pretty darn quick. Right next to that, you'll find a spot for a uh, propane quick connect. You can do a little outside grill area if you like. As we come along this side, you'll see uh, Winnebago has a few stickers on the front. You've got the Comfort Tech package, the Explorer package. Um, Comfort Tech is pretty much the insulation they use. You've got a heated and closed underbelly with 12 volt heating pads, a foil, uh, kind of a protection around the, the, the front of the uh, trailer also. The Explorer package will be these Goodyear off-road tires that you get with the wheels and they sit up. Winnebago trailers sit up these micro minis nice and high also. They're going to give you a little bit more ground clearance. As you look above the wheels, you'll have your fresh water tank fill, the spray port for a little outside shower over here, rinse some things off, cable hookup, and of course, some 110 outlet plugs right here. This backer location sticker is a spot for you to put an outside TV. You would mount it right there. Then you've got your outside fridge ventilation, your furnace exhaust, spot for uh, certain grills that have the mount there. And the two switches back here will be for your stabilizer jacks in the rear. Let's so come along the back. You do have the full spare. The bumper, you're prepped for a backup camera. Ladder to get up on the roof. You can certainly walk along the roof if you like. As you come across the back side here, you'll find your hot water heater. It's gas electric. Another outside shower with hot and cold water. You have your city water connection. Your sewage uh, tank flush right here, your black oil tank flush if you want to do that. Cable hookups and your 30 amp power cord connection. Slide out. It's great to have a slide out on a trailer this size, you know, maximize your space. Only got 22 feet to work with, so it'll give you that extra floor space in there to be able to walk around and maneuver if there's a few of you. And this is just the other side of the storage. It's locked, but just the other side of that pass through. It looks the same as the other side. Winnebago's, this one comes prepped with solar on the side, so with the panel on the roof, you can bring another panel along with you, plug it in here, and it will help work to uh, trickle charge that battery on the front. Let's hop up on the inside and see what we look like here. Stepping on in, Winnebago and 21 and 22 changed their colors around, so they're a little lighter. But the cabinetry, a little darker gray. It's a great color combination. It kind of helps to make it feel a little light and airy in here. Help to make the space feel not so tight. So this model has a nice size dinette. 
your bed up in the front, which there is a sofa hiding under there. I'll be sure to show you. And this is a rear bath model, so you'll have a little more space in the back there. Let's start when you first walk in. You'll find your main control center. Check all your tank level readings right here, as well as your battery. Control your slide out in and out. It's all power. On and extend switch. Your water heater runs off either gas or electric. Got a water pump switch here. Your tank heater, so that'll be for your 12 volt uh, heating pads on the tank. And you've got some uh, light switches. Huge stainless steel sink. It's a wide, deep sink. You can do plenty of dishes in here, rinse off plenty of things, tons of space. Also get a great ample amount of storage here. You've got the overhead cabinets above the sink. And down below, you'll find you've got deep, long drawers. Three of them that come down under here. And next to that, some cabinet space. There's your sink uh, cover right there. The appliances they've gone with, you get an induction cooktop. Since there's no oven on board, you can use the microwave-like one. You do get a three-burner cooktop. Nice backsplash here, too, just to give it you know, more of a modern, sleek look. Uh, since no oven on board, they're going to give you a nice, big, deep drawer. Pots and pans maybe in here, bowls, whichever. And down below that, you're going to be your breaker box and your fuse panel. Since you might run a little short of uh, prep space here, well, they thought of that. They're going to give you the extension here and some outlets next to that if you want to pop something on there. Great size fridge on here separate fridge and freezer you're not getting the dorm size one or anything so this one is equipped with a gas electric fridge that's your freezer on top fridge on the bottom plenty for a week's worth of groceries to put in there as you come back to your bathroom it's nice because you get a shower toilet and a sink uh, a lot of bathrooms this size won't offer you the sink and you also get plenty of storage so as you walk in you've got the toilet uh, a good size shower it's pretty wide Definitely enough space to get in. You've got the skylight for extra headroom. Exhaust fan above the toilet. And as you come down, you do have hanging closet space here. Those go pretty darn far back. And then medicine cabinet as you open this. Stainless steel sink, some outlets, and even more storage down below. Uh, these ones have the, uh, the pocket door, so you can take this off and the door will slide over. So you don't have the open and closed door. You can just slide it over. It's, it's a nice modern look. As you come up on the side here, your entertainment, your climate control is up over here for your air conditioner and your furnace. You've got the connect system. You can pair your phone, do your uh, Bluetooth, have your AM, FM radio, a couple USB and auxiliaries, some storage up above that. Of course, have your TV. Nice size. It's got a wireless charger right down below that and then under your entertainment there is some more storage again a, a unit of this size the amount of storage this thing has uh, it's great for two people even bringing along a third because this dinette does make an extra sleeping space if you do want to bring a third or even four if you've got two small kids side by side here who's to say this can't fit four certainly can you've got a nice big size window here on the dinette if you've got a nice view certainly going to have a nice view of that right out of here and underneath your dinette, under each seat, more storage, wouldn't you know? Coming back into your bedroom section, you do have the privacy shade to swing across. I want to make sure you see your air conditioner is ducted throughout the ceiling. Again, models of this size might just have the, the single mount AC right here, and it's just going to blow right out the center. Winnebago is making sure you get this ducted all throughout. So your bed is here. It is extremely simple to put back into the sofa mode. All I'm doing here is grabbing the corner, lifting up. Up she sits, you can see the handle right there. And then you'll have the flat part down below here. Pull this right up in the middle, push it in. You got yourself a sofa. So if you get trapped inside during the day, there's four of you. Well, you got seating here, you got seating over here. Um, you know, during the daytime, you wanna have the seating space. You got two separate spaces. This one faces right towards the TV. You know, it's simple enough. When nighttime comes, it takes two seconds. Flatten that out, drop your bed down, and you got a bed. So like I said, a very versatile setup. That's why it's so popular. And then again, what Winnebago's done, they've added all this storage up and around. So underneath your bed or your sofa, 
you got more drawers and then on either side some storage and then also above you got storage on either side i'll open this one here what do you know hanging closet space and up above here you got more storage so they do not short you on storage here not one bit you've got windows on either side open both of those the shades are really simple you just pull them up or down as you need they all open to get a nice cross breeze going through here so again i you get the great quality construction from winnebago they are built to last and they're giving you a ton of standard features none of this stuff was optional it's all standard that's you know you're not seeing that on many many manufacturers you know they're going to have a bunch more options uh the construction just isn't going to be the same so this is the uh 2022 winnebago micro mini 2108 ds here at frets rv of southerton pennsylvania again my name is bronson if you have any questions feel free to uh shoot them in the comment section i'll do my best to get back to you give a call to the dealership look us up ask for me i'll be happy to help you there too have a chat with you be sure to like the video if you enjoyed subscribe to uh keep up with further content you know whether you're looking at trailers class a b c fifth wheels you name it we got it i'm bringing it to the channel so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one